başlayalım. Thank Merhaba you. arkadaşlar, hepiniz IFT Talks webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün Malta'nın en iyi turizm okulu Institute of Tourism Studies'de eğitim ve kariyer fırsatlarını Andrew'dan dinliyor olacağız. Lütfen sorularınızı questions kısmından sormayı unutmayın. Yes Andrew, the stage is yours now. Thank you very much. I will now share the, my presentation with you. Okay. Hello and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am Andrew de Battista from the Institute of Tourism Studies in Malta. Here today to speak to you, to, to introduce you to our educational institution, um, uh, so that you can learn a little bit more about the opportunities that we offer to our students, uh, as well as the, the fora on which we operate. It's, a, it's a opportune to start off by um, uh, mentioning our mission, our mission why do we exist? Why is the Institute of Tourism Studies here? Uh, we are here because we uh, believe that our share um, uh, contributes directly towards the shaping of the tourism industry in Malta, um, which is a very important segment. Um, and we do this by ensuring that our learning and our lecturers um, through their teaching provide good quality type of education which is based on research, scientific research, um, as well as hands-on within the laboratory research, um, professional advice so that we can help our students realize um, their, their endeavors, their their business concepts when they are back in the industry. We strive, therefore, to see our stu students make an impact when returning to the um, uh, when returning to the industry, when working wherever they when working wherever in whichever part of the world. Our students, we train them so that they can be impactful. They can make the difference. Our segment needs um, to keep geared up for the future and as well address the challenges we have. So it is also um, uh, good to note, therefore, um, Malta, where is Malta? Malta is a, a tiny island, uh, as you can see on the screen, in the center of the, of the Mediterranean. Uh, as you can see, it is southbound to Italy and northbound to Libya. We are very close, of course, to Sicily, um, which is the Italian island, and we are technically at the center, at the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. So, why would you choose Malta? Why come to Malta? Of course, there are many reasons, and uh, here on the screen, we can see some of them. However, uh, it is well noting, noting that the, the environment, okay, so we're looking at, at, at an educational institute, um, so basically you will be expected to come into an environment, a country where you can uh, find the resources you need, you can uh, find uh, places where you can relax, places when you are, where you can have fun. Um, these are all aspects which make the learning experience of our students a better one. Not only with what regards to the ITS itself, the institute itself, but also the country. What does the country offer to make this more a successful learning experience for you? I think it's, it's also important to know the long history that Malta has when it comes to um, uh, the number of monuments, the number of of rich um, uh, mementos, if you wish, of, of what we have on the island, uh, the architecture, um, the public spaces, the public gardens, uh, the natural environment. It's, it's, it's a mix of many interesting places in a tiny island, which basically make your stay in Malta um, always interesting. There is always something to learn. There is always something to explore. And, and this scenario can be seen through initiatives such as free public Wi-Fi in, uh, in gardens, public gardens, of course. So 
you, you know, you, you could be in a, a any public garden and make a good free use of Wi-Fi services. You could be studying along a beach, a rocky or a sandy beach. Um, you have the island, this is the island of Gozo, which is quite a quaint um, island, smaller than Malta, uh, still very untouched um, with, with respect to, the, to development, but also offers some nice destinations. Um, you might have seen some of Malta's destinations during uh, or when watching some of the Hollywood types of movies, uh, to mention a few World War Z, a World of Troy, um, uh, amongst the, the many others, Munich, but many come in mind, uh, many of which have also been shot in different places in Malta, amongst others Valletta, which is the capital city, as well as Indina, which is the old capital city of Malta. Another important reason why, uh, why you can choose Malta is because once you are in Malta, provided the strategic location of the island, which is there in the middle of the Mediterranean, as we have already seen, you can easily, uh, during your holidays or during your breaks, um, travel to other European countries, uh, countries such as France, Italy, Spain, um, going to Germany, um, Belgium, England, many, many other, many countries which are directly connected to Malta and which are many a time ranging between three and four hours of flight. Between within three and four hours, you can certainly manage to visit many European countries. And this you will be able to do it because when you um, get your visa, your student visa to, to come and study with us at the Institute of Tourism Studies, you will be getting a Schengen visa. So it will give you access to traveling within the Schengen countries. The climate in Malta is uh, it's very um, typically mild in the winter time, um, a bit hot in summer. Uh, of course, we, 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 we are glad that we get many days. The vast majority of the days in Malta are sunny. Uh, we est it is estimated that around about 300 days over of, of sunshine. So even in winter time, you know, it doesn't get very um, rainy and wet. Yes, we do get those days, but it's not the norm. It's not the norm, which makes it quite a nice environment to stay in. When it comes for leisure time, which would supplement also your learning experience, as we mentioned, many, many activities based on sea, as well as others based on land. Of course, it goes without saying that the only limitations will be those that you yourself will put on yourself. Sorry about that. So, the tourism industry and its importance and the importance of ITS. So, in Malta, uh, pre-COVID, of course, yeah, we have to discuss pre-COVID for now because COVID is uh, not the normal scenario. Um, the, the tourism contributed to 27% of Malta's gross domestic product, which means that out of all the revenue uh, that Malta generates, around about 30% of it is coming actually from the tourism segment. That makes it very important, which is um, a substantial percentage that contributes towards our economy. And this therefore implies the importance and the investment that both government as well as the, as well as the private sector within the sector um, do choose to do within the tourism segment because of such an important contribution. It also automatically therefore means that much of the employment in Malta is based on the tourism segment. This means that the opportunities for those who seek to learn and train in Malta will definitely be guided by a number of a vast number of employment opportunities that exist on the market. Here, in fact, as for the employment segment within Malta, you can find hospitality hotels such as the Marriott, um, the Hilton, um, and, and many others, which are of international nature. Um, you can also, those interested in catering, you will find Michelin starred restaurants, amongst others. Uh, for those in the tourism segment, you will be exposed to tourism via air, so you poss possibly the airport, but not only. There is also the sea, which is a very popular um, tourism 
a tool here uh, in Malta. Of course, we are an island and surrounded by sea. So that is also an area in which you could possibly be contributing to, as well as land. You have land transportation being um, taxis as well as um, bus tours, amongst the many others. You basically find all the functions of your general um, large city within mainland countries. The prospects for the tourism settlement have been such that they have grown um, year on year. Free from so uh, we were looking at 2010 to 2019 here, and we have we can see an exponential growth within only nine years, um, in nine years' time. And it's good also to keep the figures into perspective. Um, Malta is a tiny island uh, with around about 450 to 500,000 inhabitants. So the numbers we see there, it's a much, much bigger number than the inhabitants themselves. Um, and, and, and therefore, this trend, even after COVID, sources from the government, those who are predicting the development of the tourism sector post-COVID, to envisage that the tourism segment will be one of the, of the segments which will uh, recuperate very quick. This has also been um, uh, corroborated to a past crisis within the tourism sector, and we can see that even um, the coming years are expected to recoup very, very quick. In 2019, Malta had almost no people out of employment. Um, so much of the people were working, much of the people were finding a job. Um, and th this is also partly thanks to tourism, but not only. However, we can see here the importance of the tourism segment and the number of people that are employed within tourism segment. Now I'm going to show you a small, brief, um, a brief video about the Institute, and I hope you will like it. Spread your wings towards entertainment, which will be remembered for the years to come. Towards the satisfaction you get when your client is happy with the service you provided towards innovation for tomorrow's industry, towards creating a masterpiece you will be remembered by, towards elevating our heritage and culture, towards implementing climate-friendly travel, towards leading by example and educating tomorrow's professionals, towards mastering diving safety management, towards creating the perfect travel itinerary, towards inspiration of a greater tomorrow, towards a brighter and stronger future. Spread your wings with the Institute of Tourism Studies. So that was a brief video, a video to give you some um, uh, insight now about the Institute. Now, you know, now we're going to speak about the Institute of Tourism Studies itself. First, we spoke about the environment in which we operate. And now we will go into the Institute. And as you could have seen there, the views, the activities, the restaurants, the hotels, the destination management. Um, it, it's it's Malta, although being small, the archipelago of Malta and Gozo, although small, it's it's full of activities, um, uh, which therefore brings us to the main point, the importance of the Institute of Tourism Studies and the, the, the tourism segment, segment, because there is a direct, direct link here. Uh, what has happened along the years as the Institute developed, the programs at the Institute have always, have always seen a mix of practical components as well as theoretical components. At the Institute of Tourism Studies, we do not only prepare our students to know the knowledge of the segment, but we also give the opportunity for students to practice. Practice in, in an environment which is controlled with our lecturers who will of course, guide and mentor our students accordingly. So when our students are out in the actual industry working, you know, you, you, will feel, you will feel more confident. You will have the tools necessary because, you know, 
the more you practice, the better you become at something. And this we strongly believe in. Hence why we provide a combination of both theoretical as well as practical at the ITS. Our institute is also, has, has also been recently affiliated with the Emirates Academy for Hospitality Management. The America, Emirates Academy is based in Dubai and the United Arab Emirates and is regarded as one of the top 10 tourism institutions in the world. Uh, we are very proud of this collaboration with the Emirates Academy and together we are making sure that not only we keep uh, our products strong but we also ensure that our students once they graduate from our programs they will find all the opportunities that they need to be a success within the segment. So much so that 98% of our all our students do find the job immediately after graduating from ITS. That's a very healthy number. You, we can almost say that every student that come with us at the Institute will find the job the day after or even before many a time. Our students are highly regarded and, and the industry is all the time coming to, to us to give more students to expose. That's hence why these figures. Now something about the qualifications you will get. So, okay, Malta, okay, this is nice. The, the location of Malta is nice. Uh, but, but what about the qualification? The qualification at Malta is European-based. And not only it's European-based, it is the framework the framework, the levels of education, and as well as the credits obtained per qualifications is equal to the European qualifications framework. This has been done through an exercise where Malta has done this mapping, has aligned, has aligned the, the framework to facilitate the interpretation of our qualifications on a global level. So, although we use the Malta qualifications framework, um, it, it is to be noted that it is identical to the European qualifications framework. Like, so it doesn't cause you any trouble to try to understand if it's if, if a bachelor, a bachelor, or if it's a master, a master. You know, it's, the levels are there. What we do, in fact, at the Institute, we offer various levels. We start from level two, which is a foundation level, and we um, go up the ladder, level two, level three, level four, level five, level six, and level seven. So we offer from very entry, from very basic courses, up to master levels, the um, um, qualifications, which are internationally recognized as well as holding the ECTSs, which is the European Credit Transfer System within the educational framework in the EU. So as you mentioned, um, uh, what we can offer at ideas are many various aspects, and this is why our campus is always busy and vibrant with our students because apart from us being happy to see some of our students last with us come in at junior levels and exit with master degree programs during the course they would have been exposed to a variety of laboratories as i mentioned laboratories where one can um, practice uh, whatever whatever is being taught there is progression. You keep growing from one year to another, from one year to another, you keep growing. Growing not only as a person, but growing also academically. So this will, of course, help you grow in many aspects. To do so, to support your growth with the Institute, you have also a number of important uh, departments, which include the well-being, the guidance, as well as the internship and visa units, which all help our students achieve and address any issues that they have. So and we help them to achieve greatness in whatever they are doing. The team or the team at the Institute is there to support you. Uh, our philosophy is that, you know, the end client, you are our end client. So we are very student centered. We make sure that the services and the environment in which you are um, training and educating yourselves is such that will help you do so in the best possible. The, the, the courses also include a variety of placements, both locally as well as internationally. So as part of your studies, you will be working in the, in, in, in the local market, but also in the international market. And we also make sure that you are paid for the time period. In fact, 
are less the industry itself pays you because in Malta we have paid internships. When we go to other countries, countries which are not um, typically known for uh, supporting the internship students, we do manage to do so through the Erasmus department, Erasmus office, which therefore helps our students also obtain a reimbursement for the services that they are doing. With respect to academia, we have a number of resources that will help you um, uh, learn the subjects of, of your interest and it would include um, an online and on-campus library. There is a virtual learning environment where you can also um, uh, communicate with fellow students as well as with the lecturers so that we will make it as easy as possible for you to keep growing. To date we have over 1,200 students uh, at the Institute and we have a faculty ratio that means that for every 24 students we have one lecturer which helps us give focus to our students and much of our 436 plus students are coming from different countries which would include Russia, Romania, Serbia, Bulgaria, United Kingdom, China and Italy amongst the many others. Being a tourism and hospitality institute, languages for us are very important. We believe that in order for anyone working in the tourism segment to be able to communicate effectively with the client, we need to learn the languages. And for this reason, we have a mix of languages which one can learn from, one can choose from. As you can see, um, we have the English Maltese, of course, for those of you who may wish to continue living here in Malta. We do have the German, French, Spanish, Italian, as well as, as, well as, as, well as others. So, you know, it's always good that you query with us and, uh, and so, so that you know which languages you are going to be guided on to taking. Um, uh, depending on the course, the language will be taught to you across from year on year. So you can choose to keep learning a language until you, until you become very, very proficient in it. Something worth noting as well that the, tourism, the Institute of Tourism Studies, we conduct all our lessons in English. So we will see the PowerPoint presentation in English and the lecturers, your, learn, your teachers, will be also doing conducting their sessions in English. Now let's have a look at the program of studies. What do we have on offer? Um, here we're going to focus today. We're going to focus on our undergraduate programs. Okay, so these are programs which um, uh, we do in collaboration with other universities and institutes. To start off with. Um, we will be looking at the Bachelor in International Hospitality Management with honors that is at 140 ECDSS scores at MQF level 6, um, which is the bachelor level. And it is it has a duration of 32 months and it includes the LITP and IITP. LITP is the local trade practice where part of your studies you will be practicing um, uh, what you're learning within the industry and getting paid for it. And then there is also the international trade practice where you can choose to um, go to any other country in the world, whichever you like, to continue training. All part of your educational studies. This program, the Bachelor in International Hospitality Management, is done in collaboration with Haga Heidia University of Applied Sciences, which is situated in Finland. And we'll also see those students that choose this program go to Finland itself. Of course, we will support you from Erasmus funding to visas and travel arrangements and accommodation. So you don't have to worry about that. So you will spend four, around about four months in Hawaii in Finland, where you will be also learning directly within their school. So that is also an enriching experience, which will also expose you to a different learning environment. Uh, this all part of the program of studies. So there are no additional um, aspects that we need to worry about because the institute itself, through its departments, will help you um, visit Finland and attend Hagahelia University of Applied Sciences. In a similar fashion, for those that are interested to work within the culinary arts segment, which is typically therefore uh, focused on food and beverage related type related operations which range from head chefs to food and beverage directors 
uh, amongst the many others. Uh, as well as collaboration, therefore, is done with the Institute Paul Bocuse. Paul Bocuse is a very famous chef, um, a French chef, who has also his famous French school, with, with whom we are collaborating um, in a similar fashion as we do with the Bachelor in International Hospitality Management. So, yes, we are seeing a full bachelor degree with 240 uh, CTSs um, at level six, of course, and the 30 to 1 program, which includes both local industrial trade practice as well as the international trade practice. So it also means that apart from the local and inter <coughs> international trade practice, you will be also here spending time at Institute Paul Bocuse in Marseille, in France, in the south of France, at their institute, and you will be exposed to direct learning from the lecturers of Institute Paul Bocuse. It was also worth noting that when you are go there to study at the Institute of Bordeaux, you will be directly working into a one Michelin star restaurant because Institute of Bordeaux, as an education institution, have just won last year their Michelin star restaurant inside their training restaurant at the, the academy. For those of you who are seeking something beyond hospitality, something beyond the catering, we are offering the very first global Bachelor of Science degree in diving safety management. Malta is also known for its richness in diving uh, in the diving contest. We have a lot of um, sites, a lot of dive sites, a lot of wrecks. There is a lot going on within the diving segment and that is why we chose to collaborate with Dan Europe, which is an international network based in Italy in Europe. To, the, to provide for the very first bachelor degree with 180, 180 credits. Um, again, as with the other types of studies, you will be exposed to time at the local segment. So you will be working in a diving school in Malta, but also you will be exposed to an international diving school. This program is very much for those who definitely have the sea at their heart and see a career in the diving segment. Uh, the roles can, can be led to from this program vary. Uh, however, definitely one will be spending a lot of time under the sea. Um, in Gozo, this particular course is, is based in Gozo on the sister island of Malta. Um, offers all the equipment, all the tools necessary for the successful uh, completion of such a program. It is a program which it's being received very, very well. And um, we have an international community looking at this program coming from Europe, Asia, and also the Americas. Moving on to the next level. So now we go to the master level. We have a homegrown Master of Arts in Heritage Interpretation. Um, homegrown because we it is accredited with us in Malta and through ITS. It is a master which is very important to us and very important to the local segment. This is a master which is particularly of interest to those who are tourist guides. Um, however, also to others who wish to enter the heritage segment and work within museums um, visitor attractions and places of interest because it will provide the students with the necessary tools needed to provide the next level of experience from the tourist perspective the idea about heritage interpretation is that our learners which also will be having practical components even at the master level We'll be having practical components uh, on how to deliver messages, on how to sell the story to of a particular heritage site to the audience. It is there are techniques which our specialized and technical people um, that are contributing towards this program of studies do provide to our students. It is a master which not only will give you the academic mileage, the academic contribution, therefore, um, but will also give you the necessary tools, not only theoretically, again, but also practically, about how you can make the tourist's experience a step, a, another, to take it up another level, to give them an interpretation of the heritage, 
making it more meaningful for the audience. It's, it is all about it. This is, it's an interesting um, uh, and important to us. Of course, our, our practicals happen across the islands of Malta, which, as I mentioned earlier, are very rich when it comes to heritage, culture and heritage, and therefore provide for a good platform for, for our students to learn, to practice and to study about history, art, culture, um, both on land as well as sea. And finally, there is also our um, Master in Business Administration, our MBA, which uh, is, in, uh, is being done together with the Emirates Academy for Hospitality Management. Remember that the, the Emirates Academy for Hospitality Management is regarded about, uh, amongst the top 10 educational institutions within the sector we are discussing. And here at ITS, we are also offering the MBA with them, their MBA. Um, it is also worth noting for to those um, that might be of interest that this, this qualification is not only recognized therefore in Malta and the European Union, like with all our, our programs, but it has been taken another step. The Emirates Academy have taken it to for accreditation in, in Australia, in UAE itself, of course, as well as the United Kingdom. So this makes the MBA um, uh, triple accredited or four times actually accredited. Of course, it is a level seven and program of studies, a master degree program of studies, which is ideal for those who see themselves as the future general managers of hotels, director of sales, chief operating officers within the hospitality as well as the tourism segment. Those who also wish to start their own business, those who wish to um, start a franchise, uh, be it in catering, in hotels, in, in uh, travel, travel itself. It's, it's an MBA which will give you all the tools you need to be successful in what you're doing. In fact, you will be treating subjects such as marketing, SEM, finance, asset management, statistics, you know, managing the numbers there as well. Um, many, many interesting um, um, modules there for, for you to learn from. And yes, we have a very good participation from the segment also in this master program. The program is based on an 18 month period. And by the end of it, our students will obtain 90 European credit transfer system ECTSs. So how do you apply? Now you're excited, you want to apply, you want to form part of us. So there is the process. Um, you will be needing to present to get the equivalency report of your qualifications, and that you can only do it with the Multi Qualification Recognition Information Center, MQREC, which forms part of the um, Malta Further Higher Education Authority. So you would need to mail them so that you get the equivalency report of your certificate, so that we make sure that you have the necessary, the right level to apply for the right program of studies. Then you can proceed by going onto our website, finding the course you wish to, to follow and choose your course from there. You will be asked to pay some fees which are related to your tuition. And once you do this, the process for your relocation, once you are accepted, the process for relocation will start, in fact, through the international office. Um, here by today also represented by Yumi, um, which is also here with us during this presentation, do help up, do, do help you out with getting all ticking all the boxes to make sure that your um, arrival into Malta is as smooth as it can be. There is the, the, the visa process as well, um, which is needed, of course. Um, so here with the visa, as we mentioned, you will be getting a Schengen visa. The visa will also, even though you will be students, you will be allowed to work for 20 hours so you can learn and work at the same time. So you have 20 hours of um, learning and 20 hours of working, which you can do when getting the student visa in Malta. So this will not only help you pay for your um, expenses for your accommodation, for your food and drink, but possibly you can also earn some extra money to get you on the next flight to Rome, maybe 
um, or, or Barcelona. The, these are estimated figures which we have done to give you an indication of what it can be like living and studying in Malta. So, of course, it will depend. It will depend very much on your choices um, because accommodation will range between 300, 500, even more. Depends if you're going to share your bedroom, um, if you want to a whole apartment for yourself. Um, so these will be all, all the matters uh, which will contribute towards the expenses you will have. However, on a general estimate, you can expect around about uh, 30 euro per month for water, uh, Wi-Fi, 30 euro per month. Um, uh, that would include the internet um, connection. I mean, the the, the, the telephony connection. Local transport, there are various schemes, so you can enroll and as a student you could also can get some um, discounts and, and favorable type figures. Then, of course, what you eat um, uh, is going to affect the meals. We estimate it's around 250, so, but then again, depends on what you consume. And when it comes to leisure activities, it also depends on what your leisure activities are, because Diving is one thing, playing football is another thing, uh, or playing cards with a friend is also another thing. So uh, it will depend. It will depend on 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 your lifestyle, the way you like to lead your life. However, what is certain is that there is a mix of services you can um, obtain, and the figures we have given you there um, are estimates for your guidance to know. Um, where you expect yourself to stand with regards to your expenses while staying here. I also remind you that, as mentioned, the student visa in Malta will allow you to um, uh, will allow you to generate money to make some extra money if you are working home part time. This is something which the institute encourages as well, because not only you will be practicing in our restaurant, but you will also practicing more on the local market. Some of the benefits here is that, as mentioned earlier, our internships get a salary, so you are paid for um, conducting your work. The fee expected is at least the minimum wage, which is around about 800 euro. And that typically does consist also of meals, free meals, um, uniforms, uh, as well and so on and so forth. There are also uh, initiatives where your, your accommodation can be subsidized. So this we will explore into more detail um, when you mail us about your interest and knowing more in this regard. Of course, there is the Erasmus component, which will also assist you with your accommodation expenses and flights. Nothing more to add from my end, only I uh, invite you to spread your wings with ITS towards a brighter and stronger future. We are here to offer you our services to make your dreams come true, to get you ready to make an impact when you return to work in the hospitality and tourism segment. Here you can see my details and the total about this that ITS that you do them team if you need my help. However, I also recommend that you mail us on international office at its.edu.mt, a team of people who are very dedicated in what they do and very eager to help you um, to help you clarify any issues and concerns you may have from programs to visas to accommodation. Um, our the international office team is there to support you um, to clarify what all your needs. That is the presentation from my end. So I will now stop sharing the screen so that we can, I can take some questions. I am assuming, I believe you're seeing me. Yes, Andrew, thank you for your presentations. Uh, we have questions in the questions section. Yep. Yes, so we have Metin. I, excuse me if I don't pronounce your names as well, okay? I will do my best. Um, who will welcome you as you reach Malta? Um, uh, well, it depends on the arrangements we're going to make. However, we can make the arrangements to come and welcome you at the airport. 
uh, or else possibly we can make the arrangements for you to be welcomed by someone else designated from the institute so that you can be taken to your your location be it your accommodation because when you arrive in malta uh, you will not start school as soon as you arrive so you will take you to, to your um, accommodation and then from then onwards our team um, which takes care, takes care of student affairs will be supporting you in all this another question can a tenor student can get part-time work permits while studying yes i think we have answered this question whilst presenting yes with your visa you get a 20 hour um work allowance you can work for 20 hours per week um uh, so yes our students can also train and earn market-based salaries so depending on your experience then you can negotiate also those prices when it comes to part-time rates to do internship in summer holidays now um that's a good question we do not have summer holidays and because you will be doing internship so yes um uh, you will be working as part of your studies during summer period um uh, which is part of your program of study so it's part of your learning part of the uh, the learning experience you have and we will help you also find the right jobs for you um during this time period during summer season whereby you will also get paid as also mentioned before. We do teach English ourselves. We do teach, um, uh, we do make sure, um, so I'm replying to the question by FaZa. Uh, do you have any part in language school that we can study English preparation here? And no need else. So we do teach English ourselves. However, we do require you to know English prior to enrolling with us. Um, you can use YELTS, TEFL, CFR types of qualifications to scale your proficiency in the language. However, as I mentioned, our tuition, all our classes are taught in English. So our teachers and students will be speaking in English. The presentation on the screen will be in English. And therefore, this is why we ask for a level of English prior to application. If there is the case that you already speak English um, and write in English and read in English and wish to get um, a type of certification for this, we do have our platform, we call it GELT, G-E-L-T-S, which we have access to. We can make the necessary arrangements towards this so that you can get the um, your, your level pegged and that, that result, we, we, will, we will accept it as the final result. Diploma is valid in all your countries and in the world. So anywhere you go in the world, there is diploma uh, and the degree and the master. All our qualifications at ITS are recognized. This is so, as I mentioned before, because our qualifications are pegged to the European qualifications framework with the reason to assert and to make sure that all our students, they get the opportunities they deserve after their investment and in their learning and their training and education. So yes, um, you have you can rest your mind that the qualifications from ITS will be recognized across the world. Next question from Selma, does the school offer help in finding co-op placements? Yes, we do. We have an, a department which is dedicated only for internships only to help you find lo local as well as international placements and we also have additional services we have digital platforms which we will introduce you to uh, such as hosco once you are a student that will help you find jobs not only in malta but all over the world again it's through the network of companies that work with us uh, international companies that work with us as well as the local ones seda is asking, do we need work experience at tourism sector for MBA pro program? Sorry, I may miss that part. Um, not necessarily work experience. So you can have either a bachelor degree and a, a level six equivalent uh, type of program, uh, a bachelor, baccalaureate, uh, that can take you to do the MBA, or else you can have uh, experience and education. 
not necessarily, in that case, if it's a mix between education and experience, you don't need a level six, a baccalaureate, but you can have it with a lower level qualification, uh, which would, yes, allow you to uh, enter the MBA program. If you don't have the, the, these tools already in hand, so we say, okay, I would like to do the MBA, but I do not have necessary qualifications, we at ITS offer other courses at lower level that can lead you to it. So it can be a plan for you to strategize and choose to start at ITS with a lower level type of um, qualification with your aim moving on to the MBA. As I mentioned earlier, we offer progression. So you can progress from one year to another, from one year to another, all within the same institute. So this will depend very much on your endeavor, on what you wish to do, what you wish to learn, um, but what you can definitely be sure of is that our, our resources will be there dedicated to make your learning experience such that is, you know, you, you will not forget. You, it's an experience which will give you the right tools uh, you need to operate within the hospitality and tourism sector, not only in Malta, but in the international market. I mean, when we look at our students, Many of them are working in international fora. We have students, alumni of ours, working in mainland Europe, working in Australasia, uh, in Asia, Americas. So our students are across the globe. And also, they are working for some of the multinationals. Uh, you mentioned, I don't know, Marriott, um, Redison, um, all the big names. We have our people there, our, our, our alumni. So don't worry. So those appear to be the questions. However, I believe that there have been some comments um, in the chat. Some nice comments. Thank you for the video. Glad you liked it. Glad you enjoyed it. Hello, Hesna. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Excellent. Thank you very much, then. Um, I have nothing to add from my end. If there is someone who wishes to ask a question, please do it now. What I will encourage you to, uh, for those of you who are interested to know more, or maybe are um, something comes to mind later after we finish this session, send us an email on um, info at its.edu.md. So this is info, I-N-F-O, at its.edu.md. Um, otherwise, you can mail us on international office at its.edu.mt. I repeat that one, I, international office at its.edu.mt. And our team will be very happy to support you with any queries you may have. I wish to thank you very much for being here. Thank you for your time. I hope uh, to see you in sunny Malta. I hope um, that our offering is appealing to you. And I even more so hope that we will be seeing some of you join us at the Institute of Tourism Studies so that together we can make sure that your career will um, rocket and therefore, as we say, you spread your wings with ITS. Thank you very much and goodbye. Yes, thank you very much for your great presentation, Andrew. Uh, we believe it was a really informative webinar for the attendees. And also I would like to thank the participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Ee, Institute of Tourism Studies ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için Andrew'un bahsetmiş olduğu mail adreslerinden iletişime geçebilirsiniz. Ee, yarınki webinarlarımızda görüşmek üzere. Ee, thank you very much again, Andrew. It was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you, Zeynep. Take Goodbye. care. Bye-bye.